So guys, welcome to this week's episode. We have a cool bit of technology that we want to share with you this week. So we want to introduce you to the Blue Team, which is basically a large lithium power bank uh, with lots of different outlets and lots of different ways to charge it. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge of restoring a hurricane damaged catamaran. It isn't easy, but we are seeing progress from all our hard work. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. All right, guys, so we've um, just received this blue tea, um, unpacked it, got, well, got it back to the boat and unpacked it. Uh, we're gonna be playing around with this for the next couple of weeks, testing it to see how it works on the boat. Um, we're quite a power hungry boat, as in we like to cook with the Foodie Ninja, um, we've got toasters, we've got kettles, we've got all these sort of electric luxuries, but we're also kind of standard in regards to most boats with how much solar we've got and how much battery banks we've got. So this, the idea of this one here is that we hopefully won't need to run our Honda 2000 generator as much, but use our excess solar in the afternoons to charge this up so we can be silent in the evenings using our high powered items. So we're gonna play with it for the next couple of weeks. But just to show you what actually comes in the box that we can start playing with, I have looked through here before, but we've got the power box, if you will. So that plugs into either a generator or just into the wall socket if you've got it back at home, if you're gonna take it to a boat or camping or wherever else you're gonna take it. Or an RV. Or an RV. This, is, this thing's gonna have so many applications. Um, this one here is so you can plug in solar now this thing I loved about it, it came with MC4 connectors already on it. So I can literally, once we've got to full power of the day, if you will, on our house bank, I can literally unplug our solar panels, plug this straight into our solar panels, and charge this up with the excess power that we have for the rest of the afternoon. So that is, that's, that's the interesting part for me. That's the, if this thing can charge off the solar panels on the boat, this thing's gonna be a game changer. And one more cable that comes in here. So if you're traveling in a car or an RV and you're driving down the road, you can just plug it into the cigarette lighter to also charge it up. So lots of options on how to charge it. Output wise, we've got all sorts of different stuff here you can see on the front. So I'll just turn it on anyway. Can't really see the screen. The screen's oh, difficult go. to see, but it's only just firing up. So lots of different outputs. It's got a digital touchscreen display, so you can just touch on it, turn on, for example, AC. So now I've turned on the six AC outlets. Um, we've got USB outlets for your phones and stuff like that. We've also got that's more, USB. more USBs. <laughs> um, PD, I'm not sure what that's that one is. The, we'll have to look into new, it. Um, oh, is that the new one for the newer phones? Isn't yeah, it? like the, the 5G stuff. Yeah, 5G stuff. So <laughs> it's got all the latest connections. 5G's not the right terminology. It's not right, right at all, is it? But anyway, um, here you've got outlets for 12 volt. You've got a normal cigarette lighter outlet. And you've also got DC output. DC output 12. All right, so there's lots and lots of different ways. On the side here, there's the inputs for charging. So this one here is if you're gonna charge up using the solar panels or using the car charger. And then this little one here is if you're gonna charge up using the 110 volts, so either from a generator or from your house output sockets. So lots of options for in and out. And apparently reading the instructions, it does say you can discharge and charge at the same time. So for example, this can be plugged into the solar panels, but then Erica could come along and say, I wanna make a cup of coffee so she can plug in the cooker or whatever she wants to do. And you can both charge and discharge at the same time. So that's fantastic. So let's play with this for a few days, film a bit of it, see if it's any good. <laughs> I'm really hoping it is. Erica was super keen when she heard about this. I wasn't so sure in the beginning, but after doing the research and reading the instructions about how we can do it from the solar panels, I'm really interested to play with this. So let's give it a go. All right, guys, one more little tester here, and I want to try and push a little bit towards the limits. Uh, Erica's a bit scared, but this thing's got all the uh, abilities. As if you were trying to overload it, it'll just give you a fault warning anyway. So we've got the toaster here. I'm going to make some breakfast. So toaster and the kettle, these both run at approximately 1,000 watts each, just below. So I'm going to see if we can make toast and boil the water for the kettle at the same time. So let's give that a go. Are you making breakfast for me this time? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens on our little screen. Well, we get 1,900. 1,900. It's allowed 2,000. So... Oh, I can smell toast already. Okay, it's, actually, it's actually a bit of garlic naan bread that we've got that we're heating up. Just gonna turn it around. 
<laughs> yeah, so garlic, naan, bread and coffee for breakfast this morning. So yeah, this is a good little test. I wanted to see how far you can push it. And uh, obviously, obviously couldn't push it far enough. Anyway, breakfast time, guys. Look at that, we have breakfast and hot water. All right, so today's test with the today's blue key. Today's test is with the ninja. The foodie ninja, which we've shown you guys before. Now, we know this draws quite a lot of power. Um, should probably tell you how much. Yeah, we love the ninja foodie though. It's so convenient because we don't actually have a stove on the boat. So the Ninja uses 1400 watts, basically on every mode that it has. So it does have pressure cooking, air frying, baking, lots of different functions. It's a nine in one Ninja foodie. Um, so here we are using the air fry mode or air crisp function. So how many people have actually bought an air fryer during COVID? <laughs> um, so we've been cooking for about four minutes and we've used 7% of the blue tea battery. So the Ninja is power hungry, but the blue tea is doing it and it is keeping up. And this allows us to cook and not have to run the noisy Honda 2000 generator. All right guys, so what I've done, I've cooked some french fries. It's fantastic. Look at this, it's gonna go great with the pork chops. So cooking them took about 15 minutes. Um, if we go back over to the blue tea again, touch it up. I'm really not sure if you're picking this up, but we are. So I'll let you know. We're down to 65% battery but we have cooked a full meal uh, without making any noise in the anchorage. That is absolutely fantastic. And this thing this morning was actually at, I think it was 50% battery, and we charged it up using the solar panels today up to 100% free of charge. So this is looking good. I've decided what I want to try next, which I didn't think I was going to use the Blue T4, is I'm thinking about trying to run the water maker on it. Now this is a 110 volt, it is, it draws 1250 watts at 12 amps. So thinking about it, it basically draws the same as the Ninja. So if I can draw the same as Ninja, that means I'm not gonna be able to run it for very long. Looking at the time, it might do what, 45 minutes or something like that? And it produces 60 liters an hour. But what I'm thinking of is in the daytime, once a house bank is full, that's normally before midday, if I then plug the solar in to charge the, um, the, the Blue Tea up to 100%, and then put the water maker on for the last sort of two, three hours of the day when I've got solar still coming in through the array. So then it can, because you can also charge and discharge at the same time. So that'll be an interesting experiment. If we can run the water maker on it as well, this is gonna be a game changer. All right, so today's test. So today's so, test, as I mentioned one time before, we wanna try running the water maker off of Blue Tea. Tea. So I understand this thing, obviously it's not like a gas generator where it can keep going for four or five hours, but I'm hoping if we could get 45 minutes to an hour out of this here, we use the excess solar that we have and we're also gonna put some extra solar panels up as mentioned as well, um, which means we can have lots more excess solar. So it means quietly yeah. we can make water with the rain map, but we haven't tested this yet. So, yeah, so we're gonna see if it can handle okay. it, see if there's enough power in the blue tea. I mean, it uh, should be, because it's handled yeah. the, um, what's it's it handled the, ninja the Ninja Foodie, which is actually more powerful than this. So the Ninja Foodie was what, 1400 watts? 1400 and something watts, whereas this is 1250. Yeah, so it and they both work. draw about 12 amps. So in reality, well, and the idea is if we can run it for 45 minutes, so the rain when we have, it's supposed to make 35 gallons an hour. We've been getting about 25 -ish. Yeah, 23 to 25. Um, so if we can run it for 45 minutes and get 20 gallons a day, I mean, you're That's supposed plenty. to run it often as it is, um, just to keep the membrane yeah. good so you don't have to pickle it. Um, so if we have to run it every couple of days, make 20 gallons, 20 gallons can That's, last That us. lasts us That's a good great. few days, yeah. We can even start selling water off. <laughs> not quite, not quite. All right, guys, let's All right, give this let's a go. Do it. So, power up. So right, it's so super easy to use it, right, babe? Yeah, so it's 100% charged at the moment. I'm going to put the AC power outlets, got to turn them on. So they're on. So that's good to go. And then cross the rain, man. So fingers crossed. All good there. No warning lights or anything? Nothing. So, <laughs> Wait, it kicks me out of the way. Is this still water from yesterday? Yeah, it's just a dribble. Just don't spray blue tea. Gonna... Is that good too? Yeah, it's good too. Uh, 
Okay, so on there, you can't really see it because of the sun, but the rain man is using, it says 1450. So it does use more watts than what we thought. So 1450 watts. Which is the same as the Ninja. So we've already gone down 1% so far. We haven't started the clock. So we are officially making water using the blue tea. So it still is a little bit noisy obviously because the rain man makes some noise, but quieter than with the generator. We are down to 84%, so we use what? Well, let's call it 15%. Yep. But we made five gallons of water. Just under, yeah. And that is with completely renewable solar energy. Yeah. Didn't use what, a drop 10, of gasoline. 10 and minutes. And that took 10 and minutes and 10 minutes. Well, let's call it 11 minutes. 10 minutes and 50 seconds. So that's pretty good. So I've paused that. I'm going to go and pour this one into the tank, and then we'll come back and make another one. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Maybe we even have enough power to make dinner. Maybe. What do you think? Cook some food in the ninja. ninja. Taste better because it's made with. Oh, it tastes so much better because it's made with using the power of the sun. Made with solar power! <laughs> Fuck, stop it! Wait, you got some in your bowl? <laughs> um, so now we have made about 10 gallons of water, and the blue tea has gone down just below 70, 70%. So that's not too bad. 10 gallons of water in. Like 30%. Alrighty guys, so we ran the water maker for 37 minutes, but it battery's not flat. It's only at 50%. Yep. Uh, we also produced 15 gallons of water. Decided to stop it there because we want to use the Ninja tonight. So we're going to use the blue tea. We don't want to be running the generator. We're trying to live without it. Um, that's there for emergency backup, really. Um, that's what we're trying to get to. Um, also, I think this is going to be a lot easier for us to achieve once we've got some more solar panels on the hard top. Uh, we do want to put two more panels up. The panels actually aren't too expensive here in this country, but we're going to have to wait a little while because we can't afford the um, the Victron controller. controller. So we'll have um, to wait for that. Yeah, back. so that's going to be on standby, and then we're going to use all this real estate up here on the hardtop. Um, another thing we noticed in the comments, everyone was saying, why haven't you painted the hardtop, guys? Okay, so we've applied for the permit. I've got a yes from the commandant. Sorry, I've got a yes from the environmental minister. I've got an, a yes from the Port Authority. But unfortunately, at the moment, the Comandante has said, no, that's not allowed. Even though I tried to explain that I'm only using a roller. There's no sanding, no spray painting or anything. But his English isn't fantastic. So I'm actually going to go back again, maybe tomorrow, and take a translator and speak with some of the other guys as well, and just to see if I can get that changed. But at the moment, it's a negative, not allowed to do anything to the hardtop, which is really disappointing, because this fiberglass is going to break down, and it's not our fault we couldn't get everything done in the yard. Um, but anyway, fingers crossed. But anyway. Should we cook some dinner? Yeah. All right, let's cook some dinner. Alrighty guys, so back to testing the blue tea. Um, friends of ours, Andy and Sonia, have uh, popped over. They've got one of these fancy phones, not like us poor people. Um, and apparently with the blue tea, you can put a phone on the top if it's got wireless charging. So that's what we're gonna give it a go. Let's, right, pop, let's it pop it on. There, there it goes. goes, it's charging. Look at that, 47%. If only we could afford phones like that. <laughs> anyway, guys, so another great, another great option here on the Blue Tea is charging up fancy phones, and um, yeah, looks like it works perfectly. Um, all the different tests we did were fantastic and this thing really kind of was amazing everything it managed to do everything we made water we made full meals out of the ninja foodie we were able to use a toaster and a kettle at the same time 
Um, it's been fantastic. So I think it's definitely something that on a boat is worthwhile having, especially when you don't have the biggest battery bank. Also guys, one of the bits that I want to put in before someone jumps in with the comments. Um, yes, we know lithium technology is available, like this is lithium, but it's extremely expensive. We can't afford a full lithium bank on the boat. Also, I know another question that's going to come up, why don't you just put a bigger inverter on your boat and use the house bank? We personally don't like running our house bank down too low. Um, we've got AGM batteries, they're not that old, they're only a year and a half old, but they're, they're working very, very well because we're nice to them. We don't, we don't run them too low, we charge them up properly every day. So with the, having this here, um, we feel like you, we can actually use it and use all of its capacity because it's lithium. Um, we're not worrying about what we can and can't do with the house bank, because if we have to change the house bank, it's very expensive. Just to start, so it, is, it does have a smart controller in it, it does have an MPPT controller in it. So when we say use all of its bank, it does say in the instructions you can run it down from 100 to 0 To 0 because, because it's got it the knows smart. It has a brain, so. Um. Anyway, I think we're very happy with this. Very happy. Uh, if you want any more details, guys, we're going to put it all in the description, all that sort of stuff. So you'll find lots of information in there. But I personally reckon anybody that's on a, a mid to standard sort of type boat um, or an RV, I think this maybe could make a difference. So okay. if you have any questions, leave them in the we comments. We can make water on it. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.